Ooh, what's good, everybody? Today we got another box break here for you, and it's a pretty big one. It's a pretty big boy right here. Today we're going to be opening up 2023 WWE Immaculate Collection. So this is kind of one of um, WWE's more higher-end sets, or more Panini's higher-end sets, but for WWE... Uh, I've done a previous box break in the past from, I think it was last year's set, or 2022. Um, so if you kind of want to check that out and want to see what's kind of expected, uh, I'll try to remember to leave a link down below. But pretty mid to high end stuff here for sure. So only six cards, but six cards. So you're guaranteed one base card, two memorabilia cards, and three autos. So... Seems like not much, but three autos could be sick, could be not. Two memorabilia. Some of the mems I've seen have some jumbo looking cards, and there's also some book cards. Which let's go ahead and take a look at the checklist before we dive into this. So if you remember in our immaculate um, videos that I used to do for WWE here for the last year set. We were chasing one thing, and it was the Bloodline booklet, which had like Roman Reigns, the Usos, and his, their almost their their main family heritage of family members from the Samoan dynasty on that book. So there is going to be something new we're going to be chasing for this year. We didn't we weren't able to get the booklet, but we're chasing for something else that might just be as good, maybe even better. Who knows? But you can kind of go through here and see through the checklist. So yeah, there's jumbo cards, but there also there's some that are autographed booklet cards here. But what we're going to be chasing for today is going to be this guy right here, the Attitude Era card. So with the Attitude Era, there's actually eight autographs uh, on that card. And let me list up the names. So there's some pretty big names on this card. We got... Trish Stratus, Mankind, Kane, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Kurt Angle, and Brett the Hitman Hart. So, all Hall of Famers, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure they're all Hall of Famers. But that's a big time card right there. So if we can pull that, that will make up for what we couldn't pull from last year's. Uh, set with the bloodline one so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look Woo, that's shiny has to be and also that booklet or not the booklet the the eight autograph attitude error signature a couple things keep in mind one it is going to be a redemption card so basically not everybody could sign in time. So if we do get it, it's going to have to be a redemption. So that's what we're going to be expecting if we get it. And then two, there's also a one of one version. I don't know if that one of one version has been pulled, but not that I'm aware of. There's a chance we can pull that too, but it's numbered out of 25. But look at this. Very nice, kind of similar to how Immaculate has done with this nice tin. And then they keep this little encased here. It's kind of, it's like semi-heavy, but not too heavy. So maybe a chance for the redemption. But I always like Immaculate with these nice tins. I like to keep these as a keepsake or a keepsake for storing other stuff. So has a little sticker here, not centered. It's a little thick actually, so maybe there's something. If we get a book, that would also be cool too. And also all the cards in here are numbered. Okay. Let's see if I did that right. Nope. I think this one needs a little bit more padding. There we go. Only thing I kind of worry about this kind of packaging is damaging the cards, but hopefully they're all safe in there. 
Might need some fillers here. Just or at least some decoys. Okay. Let's see if we can do this properly without ruining it. There we go. I think I did that right, hopefully. can probably do it like actually no we have the we have the filler I think that should be fine all right here we go I'm thinking the base card is the one to start off but we'll see centered here all right let's kick things off oh it's upside down great start great start I don't think think we have a redemption because they're all thick cards here so let's see first card up of course we got the immortal one Hulk Hogan 28 out of 75 so this is kind of how the base looks like the immortal one Hulk Hogan this is what the back looks like don't think we have a book either. Card number two. Ooh, we got a nice patch though. So, you got Wendy Chu. She's from NXT. Uh, 21 out of 25 with this. Might be her shirt. It feels like a shirt that she wore. Wendy Chu, the authentic, disenclosed, authentic memorabilia is not from any specific match or event. So I did notice that some of the cards I was watching some videos of, they sometimes do list what specific event or match the memorabilia is from. But I guess because it's a t-shirt, I don't think they would say that. But if it's like a ring mat, it probably will say that. Alright. So now we're gonna get into, well, we already got into the hit, so this might be our second man. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay. So here's one of the jumbo mems here. These jumbo patches, so we got Scarlet. Uh, 31 out of 50. Looks like also one of our t-shirts. Well, that's a shirt right here as well. And also not speci specified from any event or match. So she hosted Halloween 2023 Halloween Havoc. Alright, here come the autos. We need these to hit pretty nice right now. Move these over. Here we go. Auto number one. Actually, let's do this. Let's get other filler here. We'll do this instead. Okay. So, first auto is Marks of Greatness. Oh, you guys, good old Tyler Breeze. <laughs> I didn't know he's still signed in. Tyler Breeze. Auto 44 out of 99 from up, up, down, down. If you know, you know. At least they're on card auto, so that's nice. 44 out of 99, Tyler Breeze. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, let's do. Just gonna do this. Changing here. Second auto. Oh my god, I already see it. <laughs> Ooh, there's, there's only one person with that old shiny ball that It is a Paul Heyman autograph. Interesting. Okay. 
Paul Heyman autograph out of 99. This one is stickered, but this might not be a little bit of a ding right there. This might not be as bad of a, not bad. I'm not saying it's a bad card, but because a manager card, it's, some people might think it's not really what they're looking for, but hey, he's a Hall of Famer. He just got, he just got inducted to the Hall of Fame this year, so, or this past, or yeah, early this year. So, this is actually not a bad card. People might actually want this. Paul Heyman, autograph 60 out of 99. All right, here we go. Two autos out the way. <sighs> I'm really kind of hoping for something a little bit bigger with this auto though. So I'm hoping that those two may have kind of counterbalanced from what this card could be. So let's see, our final autograph is... Oh, it's... Oh. Okay, I see a familiar name. I see Scarlet, but it's all the way at the top. Is this a multi? Oh, it's not. It's just a, just a relic autograph. Scarlet, 55 out of 99. So we got double Scarlet. We got her shirt. And now we got her auto relic. And this one, once again, does not say it, this relic was from any specific event or match, but auto is guaranteed. Panini. Okay. There's the relic. So out of 99, on card Scarlet. So, eh. We got double Scarlets. So any big Scarlet fans out there, uh, let me know. Zail, but... That will do, sir. I mean, you can't say the Hulk Hogan base was something, but I would assume this is probably the hit of the box, right, Paul Heyman? Hall of Famer manager autograph? I think that could be, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. No, no eight person, uh, no eight person um, attitude era signature. Should we chase it again? Like how we try to chase the Bloodline book? I feel like we need a... It's not a bad box. Not a bad box, but I feel like we could do better than this. We didn't get any book booklets either. So I think we can do better. But let me know if you guys are interested in seeing another box. Maybe I might buy another one of these. But as you all know, thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate you guys for stick sticking around and keeping this channel going. So if you keep liking what you're seeing, thumbs up that video. Comment down below if anything you'd want to see from doing any of these, if any of these cards are cool to your liking. And subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, guys, thanks for keeping it real. Peace out.